Hi everyone, good evening. Uh, welcome to Nan Cloud Garage. And in this quick bite, I am going to talk about how to install Active Directory Domain Services and DNS. So I will show you the first how to configure Windows Server 2022 Active Directory Domain Services. In short form, we call it as ADDS and DNS. DNS means Domain Naming Service. So let's quickly jump into our jump host. So I log into our Windows Virtual Machine Active Directory 01. I already created the VM name as a AD01. And if you want to configure Active Directory domain services, go to the start and open the server manager. When you open a server manager, in our Welcome to Server Manager wizard, we have an option to add roles and features. And so our D AD DNS, AD DNS, these are all the default Windows Server 2022 roles. So just click on AD roles and features. And before we start, here there is a, some recommendations. The administrator account has a strong password. We already have the administrator password and the network settings such as static IP address. So static IP address, we can just go to the network connections and properties and verify the our IPs are static or not. So we already given a static IP. And click on cancel and administrator's password is OK and network settings are static and the most currently secure updates are uh, security updates from Windows updates are installed. That means if you go to the settings, we have an option to update and security. When you click on update and security, you can see there is no updates are available. That means our system is currently running with the latest Windows security patches. So now let's start with the role act to direct role configuration first and followed by DNS. See role based or feature based installation. So select the default first option. Click on next and Active Directory 01 and our server IP address, click on Next. And here you can see all the list of roles. But now I am going to configure a Active Directory domain services. So enable that role, OK? If you want to configure along with Active Directory domain services, you can also enable DNS at a time, OK? We have uh, flexible options. First, configure the Active Directory domain services. Once that is finished, you can go with a DNS or you can configure two roles at in a single widget. So enable the two roles. Now click on Next. And the features and all, uh, at present, I'm not going to configure any features. So click on Next. And Active Directory domain services. So now click on Next. And DNS server also default. Click on Next. And sometimes it may require a restart. It's fine. So now click on install. So this is the installation only configuration we can do once the installation is completed. See, installation is in progress. See, installation started on AD01. If you see here, our system name, this PC properties, we can see the current system name is AD01, but there is no domain name. Even in our run command, you can type sysdm.cpl. You can see our full computer name is AD01 and work group only. Once the Active Directory is configured, it will become as a FQDN, fully qualified domain name, ad01.ourdomainname.com. Let's say in our home lab, I'm just giving the na name as a our domain name as a demolab.com. So the once its configuration is completed, the fully qualified domain name will be ad01.demolab.com. Okay. Now let's verify the installation status. See the configuration is required. Installation is succeeded. Okay. Once the installation is completed, we need to remember we have to do the configuration now. So now click on close. And the configuration is you can see from here. There is a notification in the server manager wizard. So if you click on notification, you can see post deployment configuration. Promote the server to a domain controller. So click on this wizard. See, add a domain controller to an existing domain, but we do not have any existing domain. So the recommend option is add a new forest. This will be the whenever we configured a first domain controller that is considered as a forest. Uh, 
So assign our domain name. Let's say domain name is demolab.com. Normally in our organizations, we just add it as a organization name.com or .org, .local, anything we can use. Okay. So now click on next. So deployment configuration is in progress now. It is checking in the internet whether this domain is available in the any of the other systems or not. OK, so now it is available. We are OK to configure with demo lab.com and forest function level. It is showing 2016 and domain functional level 2016. Let's go with the default options and once the configuration is completed, we can enter a administrator password. See here, even if you want to increase the domain forest function level maximum until 2016 only, if this option's importance is if your organization is using any old flavor of Windows 2012, 2012 R2, you can choose this option or else you can choose the default option and assign the password. OK, now click on next and the DNS server. See delegation of DNS server cannot be created because other to parent June cannot be found. OK, it's fine. This warning is safely ignore. So now click on next and it will detect our net bias domain name. OK, it's detected the demo lab. Now click on next. These are all the default database folder, lock files folder, syswall folders. All it will store on a C drive Windows NTDS directory and syswall is stored on a C drive Windows syswall. OK, system volume information. So now click on next and this is the complete review of uh, all the summary information. Now click on next. See it's verifying the prerequisites for domain controller operations. So once the validation is completed, we can proceed to the next. It may take a while. OK, all the prerequisite checks passed successfully. So click install to begin installation. So now click on install. And if we want to change the time zone, we can change the time zone here. OK, let me select the region. OK, leave it default. And country change it to Singapore. Even if you want to add additional clocks also, we can add. OK, let it finish. We can modify all the NTP settings later. It's almost finishing. Now it is configuring the DNS server service on this computer. So it is going to restart automatically. It's fine. See that this server was successfully configured as a domain controller. So this is a final visual screen. So now click on close. It will prompt for a restart automatically. So once it is boot up, we can see the fully qualified domain name and this system is configured with a Active Directory domain services and DNS. I will show you how we can open the Active Directory wizard as well as DNS wizard. Normally to open a Active Directory wizard, the shortcut command is start run type dsa.msc directory service and Microsoft console. That is the command and for DNS, dnsmgmt.msc.
So first time when we configure your domain controller, it may take a while to boot up. Once all the settings are applied and the next second time reboot and for future reboot will be a bit faster. Only the initial after configuration of DC, it is usually expected behavior. Just in case if you want to, uh, if you see any of the performance issues after Active Directory domain configuration, if you feel to need additional resources, we have flexibility to increase the CPU and memory in our workstation VM level. So currently we given very minimal CPU and minimal memory. Just in case if you are feeling any of the slowness on the guest operating system, you can always OK to increase the CPU and memory. OK, but in this version we can increase maximum up to 32 GB and the CPUs also we can increase maximum up to 32 virtual CPUs. So currently applying computer settings. Before we start the ESXi installation process, we require Active Directory and DNS. Reason is suppose in future to manage multiple ESXi hosts, we need to install a vCenter server. For vCenter server in the real time scenario, we have a one a default administrator account, administrator at the rate vSphere.local, along with we have to create our individual employees or individual systems engineers account IDs. If you want to create those IDs, normally those IDs can be created in a Active Directory. And also the computer name, our ESXi host names and virtual machine names, all should be registered in a DNS. So DNS means domain naming service and it will resolve IP address to host name and host name to IP address. So to store all our ESXi host names, IP address, vCenter server, virtual machine, for all this configuration, DNS is the pre-requirement. Even in, if you want to configure a vCenter cluster, HA DRS also, we, before we start creating the vCenter cluster also, DNS records should be prerequisites always. So that is the reason before we start the ESX installation, I'm trying to show you the how to configure Active Directory and DNS. It's slightly taking longer time because we given only less resource. So applying all the computer settings. Uh, 
and in our workstation VM, if you want to communicate this Active Directory VM to other workstation VMs, always recommend to configure as a our network adapter should be VM edit settings network adapter. Choose the custom and map to the VM net zero auto bridging. When you choose this option, it will have it will establish the communication between all your workstation VMs. OK, so now finally Active Directory VM is up. So right click here, send control or delete and see you can see now demo lab slash administrator. This is a domain administrator account. So enter the password for the domain administrator. So now we are not logging with a local administrator. We are logging with a domain administrator to verify from the command line method. So let me open a command prompt here. run as administrator and you can type net space accounts when you type net space accounts you can see the computer role is primary that means it's a primary domain controller and from to open it active directory console type the command dsa.msc so it will open a active directory users and computers see our demo lab domain is created and even the computer name if you just open a sysdm.cpl you can see our fully qualified domain name is active directory ad01.demolab.com. Okay. And to open the DNS, DNS mgmt.msc, it will open a DNS. Okay. See in DNS, we have forward lookup zones and reverse lookup zones. See reverse lookup zone. Suppose uh, if you want to create any records, right click the demolab.com and you can create a records and same way active directory if you want to create the users select the users right click and you can create a new user and also the groups and even we can create a network shared folders as well okay so let me back to the slide we we verified how to configure Windows Server 2022, adding the roles for Active Directory Domain Services DNS. First, we did the installation and followed by we did the configuration. And finally, we validated the how to open a ADDS console and as well as DNS console. OK, so that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye for now.